all right man we got some bad weather coming in i am fighting winds right now even though i picked this marsh that i've had pretty good success with in the past it's just going to be super hard i mean i'm telling you what water levels high the water's dirty from the recent storms a few days ago but we're going to grind it out we're going to be using paddle tails bugs fishing lures anything to entice that bite because we got all the elements going against us today. So thank you so much guys for clicking on the video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe please. Also leave a comment because you guys don't leave enough comments. I love every single one of you guys. And this is not the outro, this is the intro. I know I'm kind of reversing it, but uh, yeah, let's get to fishing, man. Let's see if we catch some fish. All right, man, we reached our spot safely and sound. Look how beautiful it is, despite us having some bad incremental weather in about three hours. What's gonna be speed fishing, as I told you in the intro, you know, it is good to be out here. Winds are high, the birds are out though, the water level is high. <laughs> the water is dirty, but you know all of this, God is good. I'm very blessed to be out here and came out here safely, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get to fishing. We're gonna be speed fishing, man. Just targeting these drop-offs, targeting structure, oyster. Uh, look for bait blow-ups, bait movement, birds working, whatever we can to take advantage or be in an advantage to see if we can catch some keeper fish. Three keeper fish is all I'm looking for, honestly. So we can get you guys a good video. I've had pretty good success out here before. Uh, hoping we can replicate that um, Sticking with the game plan man. I'm just gonna be fishing the bottom because I know there's a lot of soft mud here in oyster That's the game plan probably later in the video. I'll probably explain exactly the cadence and what I'm doing and Exactly my thoughts and how I like to attack this type of marsh system for you guys to learn So uh, yeah, we'll get to it. Stay tuned <laughs> And water movement is really, really good right now. More so than I really wanted to because it's hard to control your small paddle craft and this type of water movement. But uh, sometimes it can be a good thing, sometimes it can be a bad thing. It just really depends. I like it when it's uh, decently moving, but not like gushing moving. And I feel like right now it's the border of gushing moving. I mean, I'm not even pedaling and it's just drifting me everywhere. I mean, the winds play a factor too, but man, that water movement is, it's, it's rushing, man. All quiet so far, not seeing or hearing any bait, but the winds are pretty high and the water's moving crazy. So probably not really going to see any bait. Uh, I mean, it's not to say you won't see any bait, probably just not the activity that I'm hoping for because of the wind and the mother nature factors, but uh, yeah, we're still gonna work the bottom because I, like I said, I know it's soft mud here and redfish and flounder is what I'm trying to target as I stated in the intro. Oh yes, there we go. Yeah, baby, there we go. I knew I saw some kind of weight there, okay. He's running. Could feel like a redfish. Oh yeah, that's a nice red. That is a nice red. That's what I'm talking about, man. Bouncing on the ground, targeting his mud and oyster structure, and that drain right there led to success. And he's a nice slot redfish. <laughs> oh man, it doesn't help when the when the current is taking you along with a big brute. Come on, buddy. That's a nice freaking fish. Nice big red fish. Woo! Wow. Probably mid upper slaughter. Easily all day. There's some big, big fish here. Oh my gosh, a big fish. Holy tank. Holy tank, man. Wow, that's a big, massive red fish. Very, very healthy. Multi spotter, too. 
Dang, that's a big fish. Look at that belly, man, just distending down. She's been eating really good, and she attacked my lure like she's just glutton herself. And we got her in the boat with the first keeper red today. Super happy with the conditions that we have and the, wet, the storm that's about to come in an hour or so. Hurry up and fishing, man. Look at that beautiful redfish, man. All right, let's take some pictures for Instagram, and we're going to let her go. All right, just out of curiosity, I just want to see how long you are. Because I know I said she's going to be a probably upper slaughter. 26 and a, and a quarter inch. 26. Yeah, 26 and a quarter inch. Look at that. Nine pound fish, man. That is a nine freaking pound fish. My gosh, she is big. God, that's a big fish. Big fish. All right, come on. Get out of here. Okay, she's gone safely. Wow, man. What a start of the morning catching a freaking 26 and a quarter inch, nine pound brute. Big tournament redfish here at this secret disclosed fishing marsh. <laughs> All right, one more fish, two more fish possibly, and I'm calling it quits because like I said, we got the incremental water come in. Bugs fishing lure. I love this curl tail black gold. Uh, it's going to give it a good contrast with this dirty water. Looking forward to it. Let's get to it, man. Let us get to it. A lot of mud here. This is the drain that I caught that red. I'm going to work it for a second or two. I'm going to keep on moving down towards the end. There we go. Oh yeah, here we go. Another one. Oh my gosh. It's another big one. That's another big one. Oh my god, come on dude. Holy crap. Oh wow. That's another big dude. Holy smoke. This day's coming out pretty good, man. I can't complain. Can't complain. Got him on that bug's curl tail too, baby. Nice. <laughs> man with the conditions as is i didn't think i was going to catch two keeper fish can we get a limit after this okay i need to stop talking crap because i gotta get this fish in first <laughs> oh big fish big fish nice Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, look at that tank. I think this one is bigger than the first one I caught and got him on a bug's curl tail. Just working the undulations that I described in the um, middle of this channel, man, how I like to work the marsh and mud and oyster. My God, that dude is a freaking tank, man. On the bugs, baby. <laughs> Let's measure him, take some pictures and let him go. My God, that is a freaking tank. Give me my lure back. Whew. Wow, that's a big fish. Let's see, man. I'm guessing nine pounds easily all day. Another nine and a, this one is actually nine and a half pounds. Eight, no, no, 10 pounder. This dude's a 10 pounder. <laughs> all right. Yeah, 27, pretty much almost a half. 27 and a quarter. That's a big fish, man. There we go. Get your breath there. Hopefully you guys can see that. Beautiful fish. Really, with the dirty water, they actually blend in with this brackish water really well. Making them harder to get for big old gars. Get out of here. All right, there he goes, man. And just like that, fish numero dos. And man, what a great day. Golly, who would have thought, man, I really had no expectations coming out here and we're slamming it, man. Two giant, giant fish, tournament worthy in this small little marsh system here, 
local by my house. <laughs> and once again, guys, I caught him on the curl tail there. As you can see, still good to go. Man, love the curl tail, man. Keith made some good stuff here. If you look interested in buying this, there's a direct link in the description box below. Take advantage. It's a marsh killer, redfish killer for sure. There we go. Uh oh, what is this? Feels like a red fish. Oh my gosh, this guy got some pull. Holy crap, please don't be a gar. Please don't be a gar. It might be a red. The way he's pulling. Oh, it might be a gar. It might be a red or a gar. A gar red. <laughs> What is this? No, it's gotta be a redfish, man. Oh yeah, it's a red. Dude, this guy is huge, man. Goodness gracious. He is a big fella. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice fish. Nice freaking red. Dude, just caught him at the bottom. Just making sure my lure is hitting that bottom because I know there's a lot of shell and mud and oyster and this guy wow that's a big freaking red oh my gosh Whew. oh my god look at this freaking brute wow that's a brute man he is freaking heavy golly i would say probably maybe eight pounder nine pounder possibly i mean he is pushing that lower in uh bull red size or upper upper end slot red wow what a fish look at that ladies and gentlemen man just bouncing my lure on the ground making sure once again i'm hitting those undulations hitting that oyster bed and the mud and this guy just nailed it and took a run i thought it was a gar literally that's how hard he fought okay hold on hold on buddy dude 28 inch pretty much oh yeah nine pounds nine pounds just what i thought that's a nice big healthy red Oh, there she goes. Okay. Guess you're ready to go, huh? Let's go over the equipment that I recommend that I was using the majority of the day. And today we were using the old 18 suppressor light action rod made in the USA. I have a discount code for this awesome, awesome rod blank. Well, the whole fishing pole rather. Uh, RX Angler 20, say 20% off your order. There's a direct link in the description box below. We're also using Vervas 1.3 gauge braided line i also have a discount code in the link below at the end i was using veribus fluorocarbon 12 pound liter uh which again that veribus coupon will work description box all coupons are down there also using the shimano metanium shallow edition uh love love this reel it's been one of my favorite go-to reels when i prepare the night before to go fishing i i gravitate towards this reel and set up and i just grab it because it's so smooth casts it so well and it fights big fish as you've seen in the video but yeah guys i really hope you enjoy this video i had a great time out here despite it about to be pouring on me with major thunderstorm coming in a, an hour or so i made it work fast speed fishing came to this local spot tore it up a limit of redfish you would ever thought use a variety of lures bugs paddle tail gulp i mean it worked out for me guys if you're interested in purchasing any of the stuff i use all the links are just in the description box below to amazon to direct links to the websites discount codes all that good stuff once again guys thank you so much for watching once again hit that like button leave a comment because you don't leave enough comments and thank you so much guys i love every single one of you and we'll see you on the next one